John Beverly, the candy man, the businessman with a conscience, on LICMC.net radio every Saturday at 3 p.m. Hello, everyone. This is John Beverly, the businessman with a conscience, over here at the Accumulon Village, where each one reach one. Each one teach one, one brick, one building, one block at a time. And people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And we care. We show it by the things that we do, by working with others, working with people that, in some cases, sometimes it's kind of hard to work with. But today I would like to piggyback and kind of jump around like I always do, I guess you'd say. Uh, from one conversation to another. But uh, last week I talked about friends and how hard it is to, for some people to make friends, to be friends. And I guess what it boils down to is kind of hard to commit because friends is like, a real friend is like having a relationship. But if you got a good friend, you you just can't beat it. I don't care what it is. They are there when you need them. Rain, sleet, or snow. Whatever come, whatever may. They just there. And they're there for you and you can depend upon them. And what I like as well is the relationship that London and I have with the network. We work together. We collaborate. We do what we can do to help one another. And most important, whatever they tell me or she tells me, I can take it to the bank. And the same thing for me, whatever I tell them, they can take it to, take it to the bank. And I'm able to count on them for anything that I ask them to do and whatever they commit to do. I don't have to worry about it. And I guess I'm saying all of this to say that because a lot of times, you know, in friends, what they have what you call fair weather friends. And fair weather friends, is, as long as things is going good and smooth, they're your friends. But when things get a little rough, then, you know, what they say, the rough where the friends get going. But a friend, no matter what you're doing, you can depend upon them. Their word is their bond. No matter what, I don't care, whatever you, whatever you need from a friend, they're always there. They're trying to lend a hand, meet the need. In some cases, it might be a financial need. If they can't meet that in particular, they do the best that they can with whatever they can. But most important, you can rest assured that if it's anything that they can do, that they will do. And, you know, just keeping it moving, and we're going to drop friends for now and move on to something else. Yesterday, you know, we was at church, and we talked about faith, and faith without works is dead. A lot of people, I tell, you know, you can't do anything unless you put forth an effort to do it. And sometimes people say, what is faith? Well, you know, Faith is the substance of things that are not seen in the evidence. You know, and we work, we, you know, if you believe in something, no matter what, you know, I, that's like, I have the faith. If I believe that this is going to happen or you're going to do this here, that's exercising faith right there. And you got to, in some cases, know that you know that you know no matter what. And I often tell people, you know, and, and uh, you know that I'm a Christian. I go to church. I believe in church. I believe in God with my with all of my heart. And I constantly remind people, if it had not been for him that was on my side, where would I be? And most of everything that I do, I do it based upon the faith that I have in God. Even when it comes down to helping people. Sometimes in helping people, sometimes you find yourself denying yourself. And I don't mind doing it. It's not that we set out 
to deny ourselves. But when you have a ministry such as I have, which is a ministry of giving, everyone don't have that spirit. They don't have that ministry. They don't have the giving spirit. Uh, I don't just sit out and say, let me go out here and give something. But when the Lord put things in my spirit or touch my heart to be a blessing to others or somebody in particular, you know, I just do it. I don't even question it. I have at some time found myself where I had a little money to do something with and I saw a need that someone else had and I made a decision to help that person and put what I needed to do on hold. And I often tell people that whatever I set out to do, I, the Lord has always blessed me. And I tell the story sometimes, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And I believe because of the interest and the concern that I have for others and the spirit that he has uh, instilled in me to somewhat believe in meeting the need. It actually helps me and it makes me feel good when I'm doing things for other people. It's not that I say, well, let me go do something for someone and oh, that felt so good or whatever. But just to be just going about your day and see someone that's in a genuine need And remember, we often say here, each one, reach one, each one, teach one. But that's also a part of playing and helping meet the need of others. Because when people in need, you know, there's, you know, it, it could be me today, you tomorrow, or somebody else. But most important, you know, and there have been times when I have needed myself. And it's not a good feeling to need and not be able to meet your own needs. Everybody want want to be able to meet their own needs. But sometimes when you can't, look like God just shows you favors, look like he smiled on you, and he puts someone there for you to be able to be there, even if it's a friend. You know, what I'm pretty sure at one time or another you've had friends and you say, hey, you know what, you're always on time. A oh, boy, you know, you're always on time. Look like when I need something, you always seem to show up. Well, I just think that that's divine order. You know, because you never know what today is going to bring. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. But I often tell people, treat people the way you want to be treated yourself. And if you treat them that way, hopefully that, you know, it come to pass one day when you need an act of kindness shown to you that someone will be there for you. And a lot of times we often look at the person that we do things for, you know, well, if if you or I did that for you and I was there when you needed me, but maybe at the time that you needed that person, perhaps they wasn't able to be there for you. But what I found that when I find myself sometimes looking at when I'm in need and I begin to look at the people or go to people that I was there for and they couldn't be there for me. Like we say in church, there's always a ram in the bush or there always has been a ram in the bush. And every now and then when the people that you think should be there and you would like for them to be there and they can't be there, that ram in the bush shows up. And most of the time when they show up, they show out because they most of the time is better and do better than the person that you was really expecting to do and to be there for for you. And you know, like I say, you know, each one reach one and each one teach one. I like to make mention, you know, the holidays is coming up. We got Thanksgiving coming up. We got Christmas is coming up. And and there's a lot of misfortunate people that don't have. And if you can, uh, you find yourself in a little bit better 
shape than you always has been and can do something for someone, reach out and help somebody. Show an act of kindness, an act of love. Show some love, express some love. Everyone needs it. You know, and from uh, the Cumulon Village, which works with myself, Harper Avenue, Church of God and Christ, our home and foreign mission, uh, Rock of Ages, over on Connors, where the pastor, Peterson, and his wife, Mother Peterson, we all collaborate together. We work together. And we work well together. They have an outreach ministry as well, as well as we do. And we all, sometimes we collaborate and work together where we, they pass out food, clothes, as well as we do sometimes when the Lord, and sometimes if we don't have it, they have it. And we work with one another, we share. And there's nothing wrong with they say sharing is caring. So if you care, share. If you share, you're showing that you care. So just remember, you know, just try to reach out, especially this time of the year. Because everyone needs somebody to show them some love, to show an act of kindness. I mean, even if you notice a lot of times when you approach people and they can have a look on their face, and sometimes the look can turn you off. Sometimes the look can pick you up. Sometimes that look could make you kind of wonder. But when you approach people and they have a smile on their face, even just that smile sometimes, and just to say, hello, how you doing? It makes people feel a little bit better. And if you can do better, then you do better. You know, you do what you can. And I'm not asking you to go out and just seeking to my look anyway. Let me see who can I do something for. But if the Lord put it in your heart to reach someone, to touch someone, to show an act of kindness, to bless them with something, then do it. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. And when you really think about it, like I say, it makes me feel good when I be able to help someone. Sometimes I don't even know when I'm doing things and the Lord just puts something in my heart and in my spirit to reach out and do something for someone and I've been told at one time I love you. you know what when you showed up and you did that for me it was much needed and I was wondering where it was going to come from how I was going to be able to make it happen but I always tell people they say well how do you know that God led you to do that how do you know it wasn't the devil? I tell people, well, for one thing, the, de the devil is not going to ask you or, or lead you to do nothing good for anyone. So for me, it's simple. If it's a good deed, it's of God. It's, if it's something bad, it's of the devil. So like I say, you know, and it, it makes me feel good. I'm just glad to be able because, you know, some people say, you know, Who's the blessed person, the one that's in need or the one that can supply the need or help meet the need? The person that can help meet the need is in better shape because they're able, it's obvious they don't need anything and they're able to help someone else. So if the Lord has blessed you to be able to meet the need, then meet it. That shows that you care, that shows that you're concerned, that shows that you have a genuine love in your heart for everybody. And remember, I'm Beverly, the businessman with a conscience, and people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And over here at Village, we believe in each one, reach one, each one, teach one. One brick, one building, one block at a time. Thank you for listening, and have a great day. John Beverly, the candy man, the businessman with a conscience, on LICMC.net radio every Saturday at 3 p.m. A Kubalon Village and Brother Pianchi presents Dr. Ben said, Wake up. 
two-day call to action at Acubalon Village, Blue Nile Ballroom, 7701 Harper Avenue in Detroit, Michigan, featuring Ashra and Marira Kwesi. Day one is $20, Friday, December 2nd, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Day two is $30, Saturday, December 3rd, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the weekend pass, it's $40. Again, for more information, call 313-578-1300. That's 313-578-1300. Or visit alcubalonvillage.com. That's A-L-K-E-B-U-L-A-N village.com. A Kubalan Village Second Annual Lunch and Lab Starring Rodney Perry Featuring Crystal P and Mike Larry Hosted by T-Bar Comedy Community Commitment Located at 7701 Harper Avenue, Detroit, Michigan 48213 One Half Block West of Van Dyke November 27, 2022, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Featuring the DJ Z Light. Tickets $100. Four course meal buffet. Purchase tickets online at www.akubalonvillage.com slash A-V-L-O-L. Akubalon Village. Second annual lunch and laugh. A Kubalon Village presents youth field trip events Fridays 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. ages 5 to 17. Ten dollars per person. Minimum 10, max 15. Saturdays and Sundays 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Two hundred dollars. Minimum 10, max 15. Includes a Kubalon special, hot dogs, chips, and punch. A Kubalon Village's activities and amenities air hockey, pool table, table games, video games, foosball, karaoke, movies, TV, cafe. Located at 7701 Harbor Avenue in Detroit, Michigan, 48213. For more information or to schedule, call 313-921-1616. 313-921-1616. Credit cards, checks, cash apps, and Zill accepted. It's our pleasure to serve you culinary pleasure. Have your next social event here at Acuba Lawn Village. Recreation. Entrepreneur Cafe, Culinary Pleasure, Recreation, Education, Culture. For more information, call 313-921-1616. 313-921-1616. Presents live virtual event Biz Hype LICMC.net radio Saturday, November 26th at 1 p.m. Hop on and get hype with us live on radio, major social platforms, and edited for Comcast Cable TV. Registration only $25. Call or text 313-921-1616. 
248-701-0885 or email cbiztv at yahoo.com. We are global, y'all. It's for anybody everywhere in the world to join us on our virtual platform with a live virtual event. Next time you need a sweet treat for your special event, birthdays, parties, or just a little treat for yourself, connect with Millie's Munchies. That's right. Remember Millie's Munchies. Cheesecakes, cakes, cupcakes, cookies. Give them a call or leave a message at 248-818-7290. That's 248-818-7290 or email mildredmarion56 at gmail.com. Sugar-free options available and catering in select areas. That's Millie's Munchies. Akubalan Village and Brother Pianki presents Dr. Ben Said Wake Up, two-day call to action at Akubalan Village, Blue Nile Ballroom, 7701 Harper Avenue in Detroit, Michigan, featuring Ashra and Marira Kwesi. Day one is $20, Friday, December 2nd, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Day two is $30, Saturday, December 3rd, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the weekend pass, it's $40. Again, for more information, call 313-578-1300. That's 313-578-1300. Or visit alcubalanvillage.com. That's A-L-K-E-B-U-L-A-N village.com. Alcubalan Village. Second Annual Lunch and Laugh. Starring Rodney Perry, featuring Crystal P and Mike Larry. Hosted by T Bar. Comedy Community Commitment. Located at 7701 Harper Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. 48213, one half block west of Van Dyke. November 27, 2022, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Featuring the DJ Z Light. Tickets $100. Four course meal buffet. Purchase tickets online at www.akubalonvillage.com slash A V L O L. Akubalon Village, second annual lunch and laugh.
with any eyes. Act to clever. Come, act with us. <laughs> Hi, this is Sylvia, your licensed mechanic. Get your oil changed every 3,000 miles. Call to action at a Cubalon Village Blue Nile Ballroom, 7701 Harper Avenue in Detroit, Michigan, featuring Ashra and Marira Kwesi. Day one is $20, Friday, December 2nd, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Day two is $30, Saturday, December 3rd, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the weekend pass, it's $40. Again, for more information, call 313-578-1300. That's 313-578-1300 or visit alcubalanvillage.com. That's A-L-K-E-B-U-L-A-N village.com. 